What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. Just gonna be building some CLD tonight. Um, might play something else later, but for now I'm gonna do some CLD. I got some stuff to work on, so uh, I figured I'd make some progress tonight. I was trying to, I was kind of indecisive as to what I wanted to stream. Um, I was kind of like trying to decide between a couple of things, but I figured it'd probably be a good idea for me to continue to build since I want to stay on schedule. Uh, yeah, so I have uh, a little bit more to do on this building, on the first floor. I almost have it done, actually. Just gotta do a couple more rooms in here, and then this building's gonna be done in the interior. And then I have to... Actually, hold on a second. I think I might actually finish this one. I was working on this uh, interior, these apartments, last time I streamed on this world. Which I believe was last time I streamed, actually. Are these done? Uh, I want to say that they are. Let's see. Yeah, this is, this is all finished. And let me check the other side as well. I think these are done. I think I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I finished these a couple nights ago. Yeah, these are done. Okay. So, the apartments above Papa's Pizzeria are, are done now. So, this building is done. Just in general. Might add a little bit of detail to the hallways in here, because like these windows kind of have nothing on them, so it looks a little bit bland from the exterior. But, oh, but other than that, this uh, this building's done actually, which is pretty good. Uh, work on the penthouse. Yeah, you're not, you know, that's actually not a bad idea. I'm gonna go up there and just kind of see what's going on. I think if I make t-shirts, guys, it's gonna be something really simple. Like I'm not gonna make some super crazy, over the top, neon t-shirt with like, fancy bold letters i'm just gonna make like some really simple t-shirts that maybe have like a small logo like some, not something that's gonna like someone's gonna like look look at you across the street and be like what the hell is that guy wearing like something simple like it'll be like a small little logo or something that says like los angeles or something like that or just i can make like los angeles flaggers shirts or something like that just something cool something that would be like like look authentic i guess but at the same time it's not so and like make like little logos, like little LD logo. I was thinking actually, hold on, let me let me show you guys what I was thinking. Um, you know, you guys have you guys ever had like you know like those like Nike shirts where it's just like a plain shirt and then there's like a little swoosh, like in the I don't know, like right above your nipple, <laughs> like something like that. Except replace the swoosh with like the logo of for like Los Angeles, like this, like just like a small like that small little logo like on a T-shirt like in the corner. Like I think that would be really cool. It, because it would look like nice and simple it wouldn't like you know get people staring at you all day but it'd be something cool to wear i feel like that like it would like help my branding a little bit something like that uh what are your plans when you finish this world i don't know my world my life's gonna be incomplete when this world is done <laughs> that's, what, that's what jack told me the other day he's like damn once you finish los angeles what are you gonna do with your life <laughs> that's what he said. he just said that straight up i was like you know what that's a good point question of the day what are the animals that piss you off oh i don't even oh i'm just I don't even know, dude. I gotta think about it for a little bit. There's some animals that piss me off, for sure. They just really piss me. I'm like Papa Lies, just piss me off. It really pisses me off. Mm, you know what animal pisses me off? Deer. And those things piss me. Uh, no, squirrels. Squirrels are annoying. Oh God, squirrels, dude. Those things are so annoying because every single time I take my dog outside, the squirrels are just like trolling my dog. Because they can run like twice as fast and like cut on a dime like the Shaw McCoy or something in the open field. And my dog just gets crossed over by these squirrels when he's chasing them. And I'm just looking at my dog like, you just made a fool out of yourself. You just got like Jamal Crawforded like right in front of us. And I'm just thinking this squirrel just pissed me off. It's just making my dog look like an idiot. Just, just kind of pisses me off a little bit. I think that's all I got to say. And then the deer that are just like, hey, I'm a deer. You know, I'm stupid. Um, there's no cars coming through this road for two hours. You know, I'm just gonna wait for the car to come and then I'll cross the street. That's a great idea. I'll just wait here. I'll, once I see the headlights, then I'll cross. That that seems like... The, it's like when there's a green light and then that's how you, you know, go across the intersection when you're driving. That's like the same concept for deer when they see headlights. They're like, I'll wait to cross this road until the lights come. That, that's when I, sh I know it's safe. Freaking dinguses. Piss me off, guys. I'm getting pissed. Oh, and raccoons. Those things are nasty. Okay? Don't mess with a raccoon. Oh, and don't even get me started with birds, okay. Oh, okay, birds. Those things trigger me more. Actually, I like bald eagles. Those things are cool because America. But other than that, birds. Those things just get me so riled up. 
So there's these birds that sit up on these trees above my house and they poop on my car. God, I hate those birds, dude. <laughs> they just sit there and just poop on my car. And I have to take it to the car wash like every day because it's like freaking pooping all over. I can't show up at like school with a poop car. <sighs> and then like there's these vultures. Oh my gosh, they just sit there and my, you know what's funny? My neighbor actually shoots like fireworks at them. <laughs> like I'm not even kidding. <laughs> like my neighbor's like, you know what? Like the vultures, like they, um, they, there's like these trees in between my house and my neighbor's house. And these vultures sit on the top of these trees for like the entire winter. And they'll poop on my neighbor's shed and he shoots fireworks at them. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's honestly like all of a sudden I'll like it'll be like two o'clock in the afternoon. I'll just hear I'm like, what the heck was that? It's like no nope, fireworks getting shot off Not because we're celebrating because birds are getting shot at Oh my gosh, you guys don't understand like the birds. They just poop all over my my car my 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 1999 Volvo, okay? <laughs> my neighbor is a savage Dude my neighbor is he just he just goes off on those 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 birds he ain't having none of those birds. Do the birds explode? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. No idea. They might. But, like, that's my rant, guys. Like, animals are... Like, there are some animals that are awesome. Like, um, what's a cool wild animal? Like, foxes. Those things are sweet. Whenever you see it, it just runs away from you. It doesn't try to, like, mess with you or troll you like squirrels do or, like, run in front of your cars like deers do. They just, like... Every once in a while they appear and they're just like, I'm a fox, I'm just cool. And those are cool. I like beavers as well, those things are cool. But other than that though, Animal Planet kind of triggers me a little bit. So that's why I'm not building a zoo in, in Los Angeles. And the thing is, don't worry guys, he's not harming the birds. The birds just fly away, they come back like two hours later. <laughs> they, they, they don't even go shit. They're just like, you know what, you can shoot that at us fine, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back better than ever. I was thinking guys like I want to try to make like the release of Los Angeles like a pretty like special like moment kind of like I'm gonna try to create like a whole event around it and I was thinking I'm gonna be you know releasing the download for the world I'm gonna have um, like a live stream event so I'm gonna do like uh, the final live stream of Los Angeles on 360 and do like a, a long long live stream and like complete the world on the stream I'm gonna be doing like a cinematic of the final world as a video. I'm gonna be doing like the tutorial on how to download it as a video. And then like, I'm gonna do a full tour of the world. Like I'm not, I'm talking like a two hour video. I'm just gonna tour the entire world, like in detail. Um, like, and this is all gonna be on the same day. And then I wanna do like a, a live uh, hide and seek stream with the Cripcraft guys, like later on, maybe like the next day or something. And then I was thinking like to add even like more hype to that, like I was talking earlier how I want to like release t-shirts. Maybe I can, before I release the world, I can try to get that started or something, start a spreadsheet or something and uh, release like t-shirts for like Los Angeles as well as like the download on the same day. I think that'd be really cool. I should probably try to make that happen and not procrastinate because that would be pretty fun. Hey, Danville. I built like a car with Ender Dragon wheels what <laughs> i actually really like it i must have been on here recently because black stained glass look at this guys jukebox mansion like what this world is really laggy by the way this is so old man some of this stuff is just like look at this like, what <laughs> oh my gosh dragon dragon um egg tires actually was a had potential it really did. It really did. Like, look at these roads, guys. Like, what? <laughs> They're so skinny. They're so simple, though. Like, this this just brings back memories. Like, look at Negro Arroyo Lane from Breaking Bad. Slateport Drive. Slateport City from Pokemon Ruby version. Like, literally all of the, the road names in this world were just, like, references to, like, games and TV shows and music, I guess. Like, River Road. Well, that's not a reference, but... Everybody's every, there's river roads everywhere. I like how we all put signs in front of every house like saying who who was created it Created by Dan lags. Well, I mean I created like 99% of them, but some people helped me build in this world 
That is an underrated cottage. I think that looks pretty good. Hold on, let me look at the interior of this. This is like 2012 interior, by the way. Or 2013 interior. Now, now this entire world was built in 2013. Never mind. It's all 2013 interior. Like, I can't even say it's bad because, like, I built it in a different period of Minecraft. Like, this was a different time. You know what I mean? Like, at the time, this was good. But now it looks weird. Like, this doesn't even look that bad, honestly. Like, this is not that bad of a bathroom. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Like, look at this. This bedroom's not bad. Like, how can you call this bad? Like, the... The block choice is a little bizarre, but I can't say this is bad. It's not even that bad. Now these houses here aren't that bad. Like this one's pretty good. What, there's a horse? It's like, what? A horse in Danville? That old TV though? I know, the thing is I still kind of do TVs like that when I'm running out of item frames. What was this, this was called Imagine, right? Yeah, Imagine by Dan Lags. That was, um, I named that based off of a, a friend's build from like Halo Reach Forge crazy look the trees only have uh one angle for the wood this this house is honestly pretty cool like i like how it's built into the mountain a little bit ultra modern mansion man it's funny <laughs> this brings back memories I feel like I could just like come on this world and I could give you a story for like every house. Like this is actually pretty cool. It's actually not even that bad. I kind of like it. Like I love the tall ceilings and everything. There's a basement down here. What is going on down here? This is a bull. Oh my god, I made a bowling alley on this? I don't remember this. Oh, okay, this is a lot better than I thought. Like, the concept for this is cool. It's just the block choice is a little weird. Like, look, guys. There's a library. There's another bed over here. It's like an underwater view. This is cool. Got our... Got my Dan Lag statue. Inside the mind of Dan Lags. Watching TV. 